everyone i hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day in this video we are going to talk about one of the most interesting ways to bypass file upload restriction in modern web applications while doing bug bounty or pen testing now this is one of those particular bypasses that i have not seen many people to use it but it can be very helpful if you are you know into pen testing bug bounty hunting and you know in general in cyber security but as always before going to this video if you haven't checked out my previous video then go ahead and check it out the link of the video is given in the description as well as you can see it at the right side of the screen and now with that being said let us get started now before diving deep into the video let us try to understand a little bit about what exactly we are going to do and what kind of application we are dealing with okay so normally you see when we talk about file upload restriction what normal developers do is they block certain type of extension right for example let's say the application is developed in php so obviously if they are going to create a file upload functionality they're going to block all the files that have this extension dot php right but suppose there is a scenario where we do want the user to upload these kind of files. For example, let's say we are creating a, a storage website where user can store their data. Now, obviously on those particular websites, we will be allowing the users to upload any files that they want. It can be a PHP file, it can be a video file, it can be an image, it can be anything, right? But the question arises that how we can allow these users to upload this file, right? in a way that it won't harm our machine right and this is where they use certain kind of restriction onto their server that helps them to somehow protect their application even if we can upload these malicious files okay so what basically happens is that assume that we are dealing with this similar kind of situation okay now normally if you try to upload a malicious php file just for the example so what exactly going to happen is that the file will be uploaded but you won't be able to access your file okay even if you are able to access your file you still won't be able to you know execute it or render it right it will just display the file content as it is without actually getting rendered right and these are some of the ways that developers use in order to you know implement some security protocols in these kind of applications right but the thing is this security mitigations are not properly you know implemented this can result in an interesting vulnerability that can allow us to not only execute these malicious file but also overwrite a certain file that can help us to get or do a lot more things right now i hope you all have understood a little bit context about what exactly we are dealing with right now let us simply go to a practical demonstration and see with our eyes that how we can deal with these applications and how we can bypass this file upload restriction for the sake of this particular demonstration i have created this very simple lab that is going to simulate exactly what i have just told you before okay so we have a file upload functionality over here and let us try to go ahead and upload some files and let's see how it's going to respond so i'm going to choose a file here and let's say that i'm going to upload an image file okay so let's try to intercept the request as well and let's just try to upload the file you see the moment i click on upload there's this post request getting sent right we can also try to intercept the response here and you can see it is responding with 200 okay so that's not going to be an issue for us right and you see the file has been successfully uploaded on the server Let's try to open this in a new tab and you can see the file is getting downloaded. So first thing if you notice is that normally in many applications, the file will be rendered directly over here. But in our case, it is getting downloaded, right? And again, you can see that we are successfully able to access the file, right? So assuming like a normal hacker, what will be our next step is that we're going to upload a malicious file, for example, a PHP file, right? So let's go ahead and try to upload a PHP file, uh, batman.php for example, and let's click on upload. Let me just, and let's try to upload this, uh, batman.php, upload this now, and let's try to intercept the response as well. Okay. And again, we can see that the file has been successfully uploaded without any issues, right? However, if you try to access this file in a new tab, let's see what happens. You see, the moment I try to access this particular file, we are getting responded with 403 forbidden, right? Which means that we cannot access this file. Now, 
these are some of the ways that developer use in order to you know protect their application if they want the user to upload all type of file like in scenarios of you know a storage service like google drive and etc right but again as i've told you if it is misconfigured it can be a very critical situation for them right so let's try to understand that how exactly we can bypass this particular restriction in detail so first of all let us try to understand how in you know many application or let's say in traditional application the developers implement these kind of particular restriction okay so in most of the cases they are going to use a file which is known as dot ht access okay this is a file that is responsible for handling almost all the you know set of rules and permission for certain files certain endpoints on the server right for example which are the files that should be publicly accessible which are the files that should you know uh, be not publicly accessible like for example we have seen that we cannot access batman.php file so this is that particular file that is going to be responsible for handling these kind of thing right let's try to take a look at that so let me just go ahead and type dot ht access here and you can see it clearly defines all the rules and all the issues that we have been dealing with in our you know a restriction issue right you can see the first thing that it is doing is it is preventing any php or other script file from being executed in this particular directory right it says that for all the files that is ending with dot php we are not going to execute it it's going to deny from any origin okay then it is also preventing the access to sensitive files or directories so this is the this is the exact rule that is causing us that 403 forbidden issue okay you can see that if there's any file ending with dot php dot sh and dot pl is going to deny the access of that particular file from us right now if you take a closer look this file is present in the same directory where we are uploading rest of the files which is upload slash resume right so we can clearly understand from this that this particular file is present in this directory right now think what exactly is going to happen if we try to somehow overwrite this particular file in that case we will be able to overwrite all of these rules and we can create our own rules as well so instead of you know preventing any php files to be executing we will allow all the php files uploaded in this directory to be executed as well as we are going to remove the restriction of accessing the sensitive php files and script file from this particular directory right so let's try to go ahead and see that how we can do this so as you can see i am here at the server again and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to choose a file okay and i'm going to upload a ht access file okay let me just go ahead and try to upload this so let me just do all and you can see we have a ht access file here let me just open this and you can see in this ht access file what i'm trying to do is i'm allowing all the files to be rendered all the php files to be executed and you know rendered i'm going to allow access to all the sensitive files php sh and pl so basically mainly we are interested in this php right and for the rest of the files we are going to just serve them as it is without any issues okay so let's go ahead and try to upload this file click on open let's click on upload do the same thing files upload and what I'm going to do is from the file name instead of htaccess.txt, I'm going to change it to dot ht access. Right? Let's try to do this in this way. And then I'm simply going to turn on the response as well so that we can you know intercept the response. And you can see the file has been successfully uploaded. If you try to access this file, we are going to see a 403 forbidden. But we don't need to be, you know, worried about this because right now, if you try to go ahead and upload a PHP file, you see something interesting happens. Upload a PHP file, intercept the response, successfully uploaded, right? Let's try to go ahead and access this file. Let me just do a refresh. And you can see this time, instead of showing us the 403 error, the file was successfully downloaded and this is a php file which confirms that we have successfully overwritten the .ht file the .ht access file actually and if we go ahead and take a closer look here let me just do it again you can see the file has been overwritten now and this time the content is exactly what we have uploaded through this misconfigured file upload feature 
right? And now that we have this, now that we can access the PHP file, we can simply go ahead and try to execute, you know, a malicious command. For example, let's try to go ahead and use chat GPT to create a one line PHP command that's going to execute who am I? So let me just do a quick prompt, create a PHP one on the web page. Let's do that. And here we have the command. I'm just going to copy this. Let's open Firefox, do a quick refresh. Let's try to upload a PHP file again, or bp.php, let's try to upload this and just try to overwrite this content here. Who am I? Let's try to intercept the response. And if everything works great, we should be able to execute this file. So you can see we're trying to send the request here. Let's try to intercept the response. And you can see in the response, we have successfully got the output of who am I command, which means that we were able to escalate this into a remote code execution vulnerability, right? Now, this particular restriction bypass method is not going to work in every scenario, right? As with all the vulnerabilities, it's going to work with the misconfigured functionalities, okay? Misconfigured uh, applications. So yeah, if you ever encounter with an application that you feel is allowing you to upload all type of files, but even you're uploading a malicious file, you cannot access it. Just try to give this particular method a shot and see whether you're able to bypass it or not. Right. And also one more thing that if you want to prevent this particular vulnerability, you can simply, you know, change the file name, which is getting uploaded onto the server. Like let's say that I'm trying to upload a file name with, you know, test.php. So you should first remove the name. So test.php should be something like, you know, some random values, then test.php. Okay. So what exactly is going to happen is that if you try to upload a dot HD access file, that file will automatically get appended by the values that we are using, right? So these are some things that you can use in order to prevent this particular issue. I hope you all have understood this. If you have any doubts, if you have any issues, feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section. Also, do join our Telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest strength and technologies going into cybersecurity, bug bounty, and ethical hacking. And now, with that being said, keep learning, keep hacking, and thank you so much for watching this video.